In the last lecture, we have studied about conduction and today's lecture is all about electrostatic induction. For electrostatic induction, what we should study first? You should know about induction. What basically induction is? Productions of one's properties onto another object. And it is done without contact. So basic difference between conduction and induction is Conduction is done with contact while induction is done without a contact. It is done with gap. So, induction is of two types. Electrostatic induction and electromagnetic induction. And in this chapter, we are going to study about electrostatic induction. Electrostatic induction means, if we go towards the definition of electrostatic induction, it is the production of static electric charge on one object by another object. So I'm going to explain this topic by an example and you will clearly understand about it. For example, there is one object which is negatively charged and another object which is electrically neutral. When this negatively charged object is brought near a neutral object, what will actually happen? The light charge that will repel and go to the other side while well, the unlike charge which will come to this side of the object. Now what we are going to do is we are going to attach this neutral object where two surfaces are being divided with positive charge on one side and negative charge on another side. We are going to attach it with earth. In this process what will happen now due to this repelling force between electrons or the negative charge, this negative charge from the neutral object will come towards the earth, will go into earth. When all the charge is going into earth, what we will do now? We will break the circuit. When the circuit is broken, what will happen then? This neutral plate, this neutral object will be converted into positive charge and this charge is static. So electrostatic induction is production of static electric charge on one object by another without contact. And the same example will happen if there is one positively charged object which is brought near the neutral object. The same thing will happen, the negative electrons due to unlike forces will attract and positive side will repel due to like forces. So we are going to attach it to the earth, the, all the positive charges will be gone and then what we will do, we will break this channel and whole of this side will be converted into negative side. So this was all about electrostatic induction. We will study about electromagnetic induction when we will start electromagnetism chapter. If you guys are having any confusion or any ambiguity regarding this topic, you guys can ask me. You are most welcome to comment out here. I will answer you. I will reply you. And thank you so much.